Today we are going to make a soldering microscope from a tablet. For this purpose I have made a wooden piece. It has notches on both sides. I will show you soon why. I'll attach the piece to the back of the tablet using double-sided tape. The wooden piece on the back of the tablet fits into a phone stand. I used this stand for filming videos before, but I haven't used it after I bought a better one. This small tablet fits well in the stand, but a bigger 10 inch tablet might be too heavy. A bigger tablet needs a stronger stand. Here I have an old 8 inch Huawei tablet. I was going to recycle it, however, when I tried the camera as a microscope, I was surprised by the image quality when there was enough light. Until now, I thought the camera was bad, but it works well for a microscope. I installed a free microscope app from the Play Store. You can zoom by swiping on the left side and adjust brightness on the right side. You can also lock the focus. The tablet's own camera app doesn't work as well for microscopy. Note that the camera on this tablet is in the upper right corner on the back. This is optimal place for the camera. I can see my hands without the microscope and on the microscope screen. The image quality is not as good as high-end devices, but it is much better than cheap Chinese soldering microscopes. The biggest challenge is attaching the tablet to a stand, but I was lucky to have an extra one. A microscope is also helpful in many other ways. Here I'm grinding down the collar of a power connector, because I couldn't find a suitable one. With a microscope I can see the amount of metal being ground. The connector is so small that otherwise I would grind too much and ruin it. I previously used an old phone as a microscope. The image quality was good, but the screen was too small. It's important to see a large area at once. Otherwise, examining a circuit board is hard. An 8 inch screen is just right. Note that using a microscope takes practice. At first, hand movements are too large and imprecise, making it difficult to get anything done. You have to relearn coordination of the hands synchronizing movements with the screen. But with a bit of practice, precise work is possible. I hope the video was useful to you. Thank you for watching.